Alright, good morning, everybody. Is ever weird when I'm saying good morning to everyone, but there's really no one here. It's just talking yeah, to a about, camera. Just you? <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Alright, here's the roomies that made the cut. Mr. Darren Tang. Oh. Mr. Purple, I mean Michael hey, Holloman. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> there's the other roomie that made the cut. Stop. Mr. Tim Pfeiffer and BJ. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Bye! Alright, so we are picking up my ball that I drilled today for the fresh purple hammer time. Snelly, how are we doing this morning? Hi buddy, how are you? You like checking some inventory here? What you got going on? We are doing inventory. We're seeing how many rocks you guys drilled this oh, week. Oh God. That's probably a... You know, I'm thinking when they're hard like this, you probably don't drill as many balls. Or is it is it vice versa? No, that's right. Huh, interesting. Where are we at? Right here, I think. How's she looking? She's looking good. You jealous right now, Michael? Nope, it's not 16. Took one of those purples from you. It's not 16. You jealous? It's not 16 pounds. Not 16? Dang, yeah. That was 15. It's actually way like 14 now. Try not to fall here going down these steps. This has to be a safety hazard. All right, game plan this morning. I'm gonna try to throw your thing to the right. If that doesn't work, I'm instantly moving in to like, whoa, son. I'm instantly moving in to 20 at the arrows, trying to hook the whole lane. Really nothing in between that. Um, the lanes are hard. Those are the two only two things that I can do to really be comfortable and create a decent shape. So. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we got four games. Not a whole lot of time. I'm in 20th. Got to get into the top 16. Yeah, time to shoot a couple numbers here. Chris, how are we doing? Hey, what's up? You know, I just haven't had you in the video for the last couple days, so I mean, <laughs> oh, just, did you it just miss feels me? weird. You missed me, didn't you? I didn't miss you, but oh. we probably have people out there missing you. Not a chance. Not I missed you. I'm just kidding, hey, buddy. Hey, so do we want to tell your, uh, your viewers that, you know, the plan for next year? Do we want to do that? Do we want to spoil the surprise? I think you should just give, uh, I think we just teased it enough right there. All right. I say we leave it at that. All right, they'll that figure it out. Good. They'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> So I know Kyle doesn't like to show a lot of emotion a lot of times, but I think this is one of those times where uh, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a little bit of uh, emotion out of him. Some funny things just happened. Everyone, this is Casey, by the way. Uh, Kyle and I went to college with her. She's hanging out for a couple days. So, Kyle, yes. how's life, buddy? You guys want to know why I'm packing the balls up again <laughs> after I put them all in there and organized? Because someone said I was on a one ball roll off. Someone said you made the cut. We're doing a video, bro! Have some Respect! Courtesy, God damn it! <laughs> You're not supposed to cuss. Alright. Darn it! <laughs> darn it! <laughs> so, I, I, <laughs> on a good note, your fourth still works. So everybody was trying to figure out the number and everyone was saying it was like 120, 130. So Kyle prematurely took his balls out to the car 
before he knew the number and then Blanchard walks by me and he goes hey I'm bowling Kyle one game roll off for the 16th spot and he was confident like I believed him so I went up to Kyle as he he's walking back into the bowling center without his bowling equipment I said hey you got a one ball roll off against Blanchard man for the number he goes are you kidding me I go no so he went and got all of his bowling equipment took it back into the bowling center uh, just to find out that he missed the cut by five pins, <laughs> but it's not my fault because Blanchard told me you gotta be you gotta be all right no, just a You gotta be good. I know it is a funny story. Well Say la vie, I guess. That's what Daniel Negrano says in his vlogs <laughs> Guys I bowled like crap today. You bowled like Brad Miller did. Did not deserve to make it somehow through a nice 268 game the last game That was kind of cool, but didn't deserve any of if I did make the cut it would have been very lucky So oh, look at that. Yeah didn't bowl good. Wasn't the balls, wasn't the lanes. It was me. It was the people around you, I know. It was, uh, yeah. It was, uh, it was the, not you at all. It was the people around me. <laughs> so we'll see you guys later.